Hi, what's up gamers? So you know that boss Marie from Skullgirls? Well now she's a playable character and today I'm going to be talking about her moveset now. So slap that subscribe button and let us begin. So as I said before, Marie was the final boss in the arcade mode for each character. No, Now she's playable and it has her own moveset. When I first saw her trailer, I thought she was going to have a billion moves, but she's actually pretty simple and doesn't have that many. Her first move is called Hop To It. Marie shoots out a dust bunny and it can be shot close, medium, or far away. Her next move is Marie Go Round. She basically spins around for this move. Her light punch just makes her spin, it has no invincibility. And it's kind of like Melia Rage's dash where she dashes behind the opponent. Her medium punch makes her spin and actually punch, while her heavy punch does the same but slower, but it stuns the opponent allowing you to start some cool combos. Her next two moves involve this big skeleton named Mr. Hillguard. Here's a brief history about Hillguard. He was the guy who ran the orphanage that Marie and Peacock stayed at, except it looked more like a mansion and he died protecting Marie and Peacock as the story of Skullgirls unfolded. So with Haymaker, Hillguard basically punches the enemy and how he shoots a laser that is followed by explosions, and the range is just like her Dust Bunny move. Now Marie has a command grab. Her vacuum pulls in the opponent and slams them behind her. It's a pretty cool command grab. Now here's her taunt. Me! Glad you could make it. <gasps> Lovely to see you. I think it's nice that there's different ghosts, so you won't be getting the same one over and over again. It adds a nice variety to it. Now, let's get on to her normals. Here's her light punch, medium punch, and heavy punch. Here's her light kick, medium kick, and heavy kick. Here's her low light, medium, and heavy punch and her low, light, medium, and heavy kick. Finally, here's her aerial light, medium, and heavy punch, and light, medium, and heavy kick. Now, let me show you her supers. She's got three of them. Her first one is called Carpal Pummel. It's a huge skeleton fist that comes down and only costs one bar. Her other super is a grab for the most part. It's called Repetitive Skeleton Impact. A huge hand grabs the enemy, but then you press up, down, left, or right to slam them around. And you can slam them again while holding down punch or kick for each bar super you have. And her last super is called Weight of Our Will, where she becomes Goku and slams down a spirit bomb costing three bars. And you can do it in the air if you like. Alright, here's a combo that I like to do. Also, if you land the command grab, you can then follow up with Carpal Pummel or Goku Spirit Bomb, but not the Skeleton Impact. Here are some things I should mention too. Marie's Skeleton Impact can't grab opponents when they're falling or jumping, but it can work when they're crouching. The same also applies to her command grab, and it is fairly slow, and you have to be close to them. So that's Marie as a playable character. I really like playing as her, she's really fun, and I like her 12th costume a lot. And I just found out her 30th costume is Sans. She doesn't feel broken, and I really liked her story mode ending. I really like the Hillguard Nightmare stage better than the normal one. I like the music more on that one, to be honest. Your feet. Right. Lovely to see you. Oh, welcome home. Well, just in a moment. Well, I hope you guys like my review of Marie. Uh, sorry it took me a while. I kind of got sidetracked for a four minute video, but hey, I got two videos in the works now. One is of this character. <laughs> And the other is of this game. I've known for sure you have no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. 
nothing. So hey, have a nice day, guys. And I'll catch you later. Ciao.